There's so many agates. Oh, look at that. Wow. They're everywhere. That is the biggest agate I have ever seen. Get you ready for Polly. Just touch it. Hey, he's here. Ah, he's here. Run. Oh, run. Paul. You're here. <laughs> good morning or good afternoon, everyone. Welcome, if you're new here, my name is Polly. Today, we'll be looking for agates, but not any old agates, big agates. Some as big as my fist. The mountains behind me here are covered in these gemstones. And the only reason why we are here is because recently we had a big forest fire that destroyed all the vegetation in its path. But this did reveal all the rocks that were underneath. Now let's go fill up some bags. The reason I'm searching here is because anytime it rains in an area like this, it causes a flash flood in these little gullies, cleaning everything in its path. I've had good luck looking down these gullies in the past, so that's why I'm here today. So in case nobody knows what an agate is, it's a semi-precious gemstone. So it's not worth millions or billions of dollars like a diamond, but it is worth a couple of bucks, you know, if you were to sell this. You could cut it up, polish it, make jewelry out of it. So it's semi-precious. It ain't for your mama's diamond ring. Black skin agate, only because it's charred from the fire. This site would usually be full of vegetation and grass and moss and all that kind of stuff, but because there's nothing to absorb the water. Every single time it rains, literally hundreds of agates come out here. Millions of agates buried in the dirt here, and it just, it'll just it keep producing and keep producing forever. This spot here is just incredible. So I moved away from the gully, whoa. Moved away from the gully, went up to this slopey slide, and this is where I'm actually starting to find a lot more. There's one right here. Uh, there's one right there. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, there's another one right there. That's a nice one. Hey, my biggest one so far. Nice chunk of red skin, agate. I don't see any opal in there or nothing. In the bag you go. Found a piece of sheet agate. You can see through it, pretty thin. It's kind of what we're looking for. <laughs> Look at this. You see the red skin and then you reveal it. You see the agate inside. Now there's different kind of agates up here. You can find the opal agates, fine crystals. Some are the green skin, blue skin, rainbow skin. Oh, one right <laughs> They're everywhere. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Oh, look at this. Looks like a red skin. It's in situ. Oh yeah. So how these were formed is they're, they, they form in this basalt that we have here, which is a volcanic material. So at one point in time before when the basalt was uh, liquid lava, it had air bubbles in it, so to speak. And when it hardened into rock, those air bubbles filled with water over time. And whatever minerals were in that water turned it into agates. These were formed in volcanic formation. But yeah, that's uh, a learning moment with Bryson. I mean, if you're a nerd for that kind of thing. Ooh, that's a cool cluster. It's an ugly piece, but there's a lot of agate in this one. It's kind of random. I'll kind of roll it down ah! the hill. Boom, 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 boom. Looking for treasure. There are so many agates here. I can't pick up every single one because it's just, where do you stop? So I'm just going to start picking up the nice ones so I don't overload my, my pocket. But I'll keep that one. Here's a nice one. It's just, uh, it's, it's an agate in the host rock, but it's got a really nice kind of pink, purple, gray color to it that probably ain't gonna show up on the camera, but whatever, we'll try anyways. A lot of the host rock around here is oxidized red, just like the red skin agate. So there's a lot of stuff around here that, that looks like it, the same color. But this here is a red skin agate nodule with the agate inside. That's pretty cool. I just came across one in the dirt here. I tried pulling it out, but it is kind of stuck. It looks big, but it does wiggle. Ooh, that looks like a geode. Yeah, look at that. It's not a full hollow geode, but there's crystals in it. That's a nice one. Wow. That'll look a lot better cleaned up. Woohoo! Beautiful. That's the best one I found today. I'm finding another accumulation over here, but it's also getting a lot more slippery. I just found this nice looking police. This nice looking police. And then this one has a nice band all through it. Hey, look at this, it's really small, but super pretty. So what causes the formation of the geode on the inside is clicking that like button and possibly subscribing. Oh, look at another one, it's like a little pendant. I ain't painted Polly. I'm starting to walk over a bunch of them now because like I said, I'm just trying to find the best ones. There's no point piling up on shrapnel shards and small ones. Only the best go in the Walmart bag. Do you know who I haven't seen in a while? Bryson. Oh, Want to see a trick? Oh, show you guys a sick trick. 
can of sparkling water, how to hydrate in a hurry. Ow, I swallowed too fast. <coughs> so when you're dehydrated, the thing you want to do is shock on a sparkling water. Just get her in you. And don't litter. Take out what you brought in. Oh, here's one. This one doesn't even have a skin on it, look at that. Ah. It's already, the skin's already eroded out from around it. So why are we here? Some of these agates are red skin, kind of like these ones that, I've been fun, that I found earlier. And then some of them have green skins on it. And I guess that's just however they oxidized or whatever minerals were present, present when they, oh, that's not a green skin agate. Stupid. Hmm. No. Oh. No. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, that's kind of neat. Look at a little piece of agate with some tiny bit of opal right in the center. I was kind of hoping it was bird poop, but now it's a little bit of opal. We'll keep it. What do we have here? I don't like it. It's scary. Rock. Ooh. Ooh, nice. I can't explain how frustrating that is. I'm like this close to making my dreams come true, but I'm this far away from being strong enough to do it. Ooh, an agate. That was a full one too. Nice. All right. Hiya! And God! Well, that's probably why. I'm weighing myself down with that fanny pack. Hiya! Rock! That was stupid. Now I'm tired. There is Bryson. Dude, check out this. Oh, wow. That is a really, really nice one. Like, I know, I thought it would be like actually hole inside. That's one of the nicest ones I've actually ever seen. I haven't checked down this gully yet, so if you want to do that, I kind of want to go with the GoPro and go exploring because I'm a lot more hands-free without having the going? cameraman. I don't know. I'm so like, where's Keith going? He'll follow you. GoPro is on. High five for luck. Groovy. Oh. Bye. So are we meeting you from the bottom? Hi. Right. Yes. I just found this guy sitting behind this tree here. Oh, it's a nice one. It's not cut. Oh, it's cut now. Never mind, it's not very nice. I just found a really a really nice one. Look at that. It's broken. Wow. That is huge. Oh man, too bad that wasn't full. It's just a piece of it, but those are some big crystals. Almost looks like teeth. Wow, that's cool. I just found a dark one. Smoky. Oh, well, this isn't good. This is not good. Are you okay, little fella? No. This is kind of hard to walk on. Oh, jeez. Oh. Ooh, that's a nice one. They are everywhere here. Here's a piece of host rock with an agate nodule sticking out of it. Well, Bryson's calling me. How you doing? Not too bad, how are you, buddy? Good. Ta-da! No way. Wow. Looks like teeth. Wow, there's some pretty big quartz crystal spears in there. I don't know what they call them, crystal. Didn't give it back. It almost looks like you could like open it. Yeah, that's mine. Wow. Yeah, it's got the red skin on it. That thing would have been huge. Yeah, I know. It's just a piece, but oh, whatever. There's so many agates here. It's just ridiculous. I just found a really nice fragment of one, but I, I'm not even mad that it's broken because it's just so nice. In the light. Ooh. Pretty. Shiny. Pretty. Come on. No. There's this guy. Oh. Oh. Yo. Grayson found something. Holy. Yeah, really? dude. Really? Wow. Yeah, dude, give me this. It's like gray. That is huge. Yeah, dude. That is the biggest agate I have ever seen. It's like five fists. 
Yeah, the last one I saw that was even close to being that big, I was a little kid. That is huge. So or, look at that. <laughs> wow, look at the banding through there. I didn't even see that. No, look at mine. Mine's way better. Well, this is the biggest one I've seen since I was a little kid. I was pretty <laughs> exhausted when I when I was coming up here until I found this. But now that's as the reality sinks in of how great this find is, my adrenaline is pumping and I'm totally stoked. It's pretty good. And as it dries off, it's it's actually blue. Blue gray rather than just gray. So that's nice. I think we're gonna call it quits here pretty quick. I'm gonna make my way down to the car, go and uh, unload this stuff, see how much time we have left in the day, and then may look for more spots or end it here. Ow! Ow! It's hard! Oh. It looks soft, but it's hard as a rock. I mean, the bottom's soft, but up there, it's like you jump and you're like, Ugh. I was having a bit of a bad day earlier and after finding this and getting a little bit of food into me, the reality has set in on how great of a find I've actually got here. Polly's just jealous because he found that little one that he says is the nicest one of the day. But uh, I've been doing this my whole lifetime and I've only found, only ever seen one other one this big. So, yeah. All right, so we're at the vehicles right now, which means it's the end of the day, but this is only day one. We're here for two days and it's actually only been four hours and we accumulated enough to sink a boat. So the best finds of the day is number one, my beautiful agate crystal geode looking thing. It smokes anybody else's that I'm about to show you out of the water. And then my set of crystal teeth. It's kind of neat. My mom will like it. And of course, the big agate Bryson found. Definitely the biggest agate I've ever seen. And a bag that's almost full of other pieces I found. All right, so we're gonna get our things, go back to the hotel, sleep one night, and then I'll see you right now. Bryson and I decide to change plans and check out the lower canyon. Will this be a better spot? There's only one way to find out. So we just got down here and I found the first one, which is good because now we know we're not wasting our time. Squirt, 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 squirt. You see the red skin on the outside. Well, this one's a bit orange. No big deal. We're gonna pull it out and see how big it is. Small, but it is a sure sign that there'll be more agates around. Hey Paul, here's a decent one right here. Well, it looks decent. It's kind of hard to tell right now, but it looks like it could be big. Um, let's just see. Oh, look at that, that is a big one. But I should note that because we're not up top and we're down below, they're kind of, they're all fragmented because they've tumbled down the mountain quite a bit. Wire? Yeah, the ones up top were a lot more complete. Pretty cool. Pretty. I'll just leave it to Paul to find the small ones. We got another big red skin, uh, what looks like a red skin agate here. Or actually upon closer look, it just looks like a red skin quartz nodule because it's white, got the white on the inside. Squirt, 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 squirt. We'll have to see. Get it out. Yeah. I need your muscles. Squirt, squirt, squirt. No pressure's on. <laughs> pressure's on, yeah, I need your muscles. Please be whole, please be whole. Yeah, it's one of those quartz ones. So it should be a lot lighter than the, it is, it's a lot lighter than the big one. It's similar in size, like it's, well, it's kind of close to, to the same size as the bigger agate one that I found, but it's a lot lighter because it's quartz, agate's heavier. I know it sucks when you find all the big ones because then, you know, you have, you have to carry them up the hill. Paul doesn't know what that's like. I just found the biggest one of the decade. This one is covered in these little irises, which are those little rings. It's the best one ever. Two dollars. Yeah, there's a lot around here. Ooh, an agate. Being down here, it's so creepy. Oh, help me. It's too creepy. It's a big one. I found a big, a big honka monka. There's agate candy all throughout the specimen. Let's go. I made the mistake of not emptying my bag before today, so yes. Yeah. I just found this little geode. Cute little crystal sharp teeth. 
And right when I found that, I found this guy. These nodules I find a little more rare. They're longer. And this one's still in the dirt, sticking out of the wall. So I'm gonna spray it. Pull it out. I like that, it's a dark agate too. And then there's a couple of, two fragmented ones that are sticking out right here. Another one of those red skins that are, looks to be dark. Oh, it's bigger than I thought it was. It was only sticking out like that. Oh, cool. Oh, look at this. Yeah, we're just rainbow. Ooh, pretty. That is nice. Well, yeah, that, that's so smooth. You can almost just polish it like that, that one edge. And then there's another one here, but uh, here's one. looks like it's in a <laughs> This bag ain't getting lighter. That looks... Uh. Yeah, this one looks more opalized. Like the white ones are either opal or calcite here. But yeah, that one looks opal. -y. See, this one looks opal. -y. Could also slash be agate e slash agate e, but it is super nice. It rocks. Ooh, ah. Ah. nice. That one's nice. So shiny. So I'm just eating peanut butter from the back side of a spoon. And I just found uh, two agates, actually. This one's super nice. You can see the little rings around the edge. Looks kind of slash agate-y. And then if you come over here, we have another one. Not as nice, dark gray. It'll still look good if we cut it. All right, we're done here for the day. Um, I and think- And background. Wait. <laughs> Quiet on the set. Are you ready, Paul? Yes. Okay, and action. All right, so we're calling it a day. It's been a whole five minutes. Background. <laughs> it's been like about two hours and we have enough agates to fill up an entire truck now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go all the way up this hill, fill up the agate in the car, go home, and then I'll show you, I'll show you the, what we found in the last couple days. And cut. That was awkward. Here's one of the agates I found walking down the hill. This is a beautiful piece, but unfortunately when I tried cutting it, it broke due to a crack on the inside. Oh well. Here is another beautiful piece and, oops. Yeah, you can tell that I licked it. A beautiful piece, yes, look at that shine. I don't know what's going on on the inside here, but it is pretty neat. Now this piece, it's kind of interesting. You see these straight white bands across the bottom of it and a dark blue color. This piece is a slab off one of the pieces that I was able to salvage. The other pieces are broken, but this piece survived. A nice quartzy eye piece that is translucent. I can use this as a frisbee. And of course, the biggest agate I've ever seen. The piece of Bryson. It weighs 9.8 pounds, is huge, and of course, it's beautiful on the inside. Now I did a lot of licking to make it look this shiny, but if I were to cut it, you would really see those true colors, but that's not my choice to make. So that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming in the future. I have other social media platforms available if you want to check out behind the scenes footage or even just some extra content. Hey everybody, my name's Polly. Buy my new product. You like? and even a website where you can get yourself a hoodie, t-shirt, or even some stickers at pioneerpoly.com. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And until the next one, black screen with logo. I don't like it. It's scary.